Okay, Cindy, look like just you for now. I'm not quite sure Anders joining us later on. I did call, call her, but, but she didn't respond. Okay, we're going to finish the hair first and the eyebrow. After that, I'm going to do the face or the fresh. Okay, so I hope you still, uh, you have a chance to buy those uh, top pencil. So last time uh, we talked about the uh, true blue. And uh, also this one's called um, turquoise. And if you don't have that one, uh, I would suggest you have a light cerulean blue. These two work. These three work even better. But if you can have these two, it will be awesome. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Cindy, how can I, can I see you? Oh, because I turned off my camera. Oh, can, can you turn on? Oh, enter. Enter, join us. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to finish uh, with the, the hair first. Then after that, we're going to uh, finish the skin, see how much we can do. I'll say, based on the past experience we did, probably have to one more one more day for, for the detail, okay? But we'll see, we give it a try, okay? So today we're going to work on the uh, hair and the eyebrow, okay? So I use uh, two blue, this one is two blue and the dark. And that is the light serum blue, okay? But I know uh, Prisma Color Pencil said probably come with this one called uh, Turquoise. Okay, I've seen this from, from some of the uh, Turquoise Doxit. Doxit. Okay, so either one, you can combine these two or combine these two. But two blues is a major one for the dark blue part. Okay, so we keep, keep going. All right, and uh, what happened to uh, your picture? What's that? Oh, okay, okay. You guys, you guys haven't started the, the hair color yet. Cindy, do you start the hair yet? Yeah, but I didn't finish the face. Are uh, you you still drawing the the sketches for the face? Yeah, but I oh. did the, the hair. Okay, do you, do you have a chance to buy those uh, color pencil? <clears throat> no, I forgot. Uh, if you don't have that, that true blue, just choose the color similar like that, it shall be fine. Okay. And uh, do you have a true blue and uh, light serene and blue? Um, I think so. You think so? Okay, so close. Yeah. I can hear you guys. I don't know. I don't know. Better. Okay, so when you've done, you pretty much you would just work on the uh, color. Okay, so going to work on the color. So I use a uh, light serene blue first to go over that. Then I'm going to add uh, two blue to define those uh, green of the hair. Okay, so it's like this. <clears throat> Yeah. Questions? Oh, I see Cindy. Someone talk to you, right? <laughs> How's the weather in Tucson? It's colder today. Today, early morning, we have rainy, rainy morning. Then no, we have oh. the afternoon is getting uh. The cloud kind of fade away. You can see sunshine. So now we can see the blue sky. But it's only sunset though. But today still be kind of uh, well, you cannot say cold, but it's a bit cool. Okay, so pretty much just do the, do the light serene blue over. Uh, okay, now after that, I'm going to use the true blue to dark the, the line. Okay. Uh, true blues, not 
a dark uh, some of the really line here. That one will be called indigo blue. You see the really dark part? All those parts here, in between those lines here, that's really dark here. That one you have to use indigo blue. Okay. Indigo blue look like a black. If I put it under the, the screen, you can see almost like a black, but it's called indigo blue. See here. Indigo blue. Okay. That's the one we're going to do is to divide the each one like that. Okay. That's at the end. The end we use that three dark one to do that to define the each grain of uh hair. Okay, so hair pretty much just this three, including the eyebrow as well. Okay. So I'm going to use uh, the true blue, a little bit dark one. So it's kind of make a bit more three dimension. Okay, add to that. Okay, so uh, Cindy, you finished all the faces? Oh, I'm doing the hair now. I'm, I'm oh, still doing okay, the hair. Good, good. Uh, do you have uh, the light serene blue? The blue is kind of light. It's kind of blue. Yeah. You do the basic, but try to keep some highlight though. So highlight this part, some, okay, and some here. So don't press solid. So keep a little bit light to this highlight area. Okay, and the rest part you can just feel it feeling all the lights are in the blue. Okay, now after you've done all of them, then you go to use the true blue, blues like this. Okay, then you go back to refining some of the darkness, the shade for each part. Okay, try to go, let the line go in like this. For the lower part, go in, go like this, go curve like that. Okay. And the top go opposite, go like this. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm still working on the hair. Uh, when you do the first layer, is light blue. Okay, we light uh, serenium blue. And after that, I use true blue. I'm still working on that. Okay, 
But I try to make, instead of just feeling this whole thing, I try to use a big stroke to do the shading sometimes, okay? But you will see this, this one's not, the, of course, not final step. This one, I'll just have to one more step and use the indigo blue to go back to refining those. And I go back to like a, make a really dark area. I have to use the indigo blue. So this is indigo blue. I'm going to shade in. Okay, shade in. Okay, once you've done the, the two blue and the last round blue, okay, then once you start to work on dark shadow on the hair, don't use black. I know it looks like really dark. Use indigo blue instead. Okay, you can create some shadow, like some of the decoration, mm -hmm. the flower, the cat shadow on the, on the hair. You can, you can use this too, okay. I cannot see outside the picture frame, but since we have a lot of space, I just can create my my own hair a little bit. Okay, so use our imagination a little bit. So on the left side, pretty much done. Okay, I use the indigo blue to kind of outline in the, the, the hair part. Okay, the outline. <clears throat>
So do you guys do anything uh the fourth day? Hmm? You do anything for today? For today? today? April's fourth day. Um not really. Not really? Oh you're a good girl. <laughs> Did you fool somebody else? <laughs> um I kind of like um trick my friends, but not like Prank, prank, but like oh, just okay, it's just uh, nicely have fun, yeah, kind of. just to embarrass them. Okay, <laughs> How about Angel, do you do any crazy thing? And uh, where are you? <laughs> what? You do anything for today, April Fool's uh, No. No? Oh, you still have time though. You have a few hours okay. left. <laughs> yeah. What do you need to do? <laughs> if you didn't fool people, you cannot go to bed. <laughs> oh. You have to fool somebody else before you go to bed. Otherwise, the only <laughs> day you can fool people is legal. <laughs> oh. Right? Did they make fun of people or do something for people? People totally feel like the normal. Well, I'm down the you want the hair and some blue or blue here. <laughs> wow, what's that? Okay, I feel this this uh, photo reference, the one we are using here, uh, she didn't do much blending. She just used a color pencil to blending. So it's up to you, you want to use a uh, pencil, uh, you can. But without pencil, I think copy is still okay for this one. Okay. So my screen shows a little bit darker than the original. So oh, my person's hair is more purple than blue. Oh, I think it's fine. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah, because you cannot find exactly the same color. Okay, especially you see it on the screen. Uh, you know the screen show the color is not what we can use. Uh, this color we're using it, we call subtractive color. Means use the pigment of the uh, those color, okay? And the one you see on the screen, that was other people's work, it's true, true. That one they transfer to the, uh, on the screen. The color we see called RGB. Uh, the color we see is formed from red, green, and the blue, okay? So that color can come out so many uh, uh, really bright, uh, vivid color. And the, the color we use can achieve that, okay? The color we're using a little bit kind of dull. You cannot achieve that effect. Just do what we can, okay? Close enough will be good. Okay? The color we see on the screen called uh calls additive. What does that mean additive? Uh because whatever we use um the color, we use pigment, we apply to the paper or canvas, we basically take out the white. We cannot make a white. Okay, so that's why we subtract the white. Okay, the white we can get is the paper itself. So when we have the highlight, 
we want to create with uh, the white, but we don't want to cover them. Okay, so that that's here, right? So we create highlight. Highlight is white. So because subtracted, we keep taking out the white. However, the RGB they can make the white. Okay, the thing you see on the screen is white. That is the red and green and blue. Three light shiny to sense spot get okay, white. So we call additive. You can add three color, three color of light to make a white. Okay, so we cannot achieve those brightness of the color. Okay, because wait, so would white be a color? A uh, big pardon. What you what are you asking? Would white be a color? Why actually we call neutral? If you read color theory, we call white is a neutral. They don't call color, black and white, or call neutral. Okay, neutral. You know they they can get along with all the color. Okay, some color is not uh, okay with other color. Okay, so some color yes, but not all the colors like that. What do you mean by like not okay? Uh, okay. Based on some of the color, just like uh, we human, we have a personality. Each color has personality. Okay. Warm or cool. Okay. And some of the colors is just kind of art to standing next to each other. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about color, then we have to understand how to arrange them. Okay. Uh, just like uh, we have a cow and a lion put to, next to each other. What happened to the lion and the, 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 the cow? What happened? The lion will eat the cow, right? So color has kind of, oh. kind of not, kind of, uh, how to say, compatible. Some color with another color just kind of next to each other, kind of odd. Okay, so we don't put them together sometimes. Okay, so sometimes people put mm -hmm. a color on their, their <clears throat> drawing. <clears throat> they look just awful. <clears throat> okay, so the, the reason why is just like a, uh, do you play piano? Um, I used to. Like, okay. I, I quit. Know, um, uh -huh. Yeah. When you play C major, C major is what the note. It's a C, E, G, and C, right? A C major, right? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Then how about D major? Will be D, right? And uh, G, and uh, B, right? Then if you put something else into a, the, the major key, what did you heard? It, it's kind of odd. You, your ear feel like, mm, something's wrong. <laughs> color has that same thing. Color you put together, some, sometimes some of the color. Some color, it's okay. They have a, a little bit tolerant. But some of the color, when you put side by side, uh, just not too good, okay? So same thing, when you apply the color, uh, we have to be careful to choose. However, this color is a way to arrange them. Even though you use a lot of color, you really need to use them, but it's a way to tame them. You know, tame, T-A-M-E-M. -E you know, tame? People taming the tiger like a tiger tamer, mm -hmm. right? How they tame the tiger? They have a certain way, right? Now how we tame the color? If we use a lot of color, even so they not get along, how we make them work, okay? So there's a couple of way, okay? First way is to share, the, uh, share some uh, uh, common stuff. How how can your your and your siblings look alike? 
when you go up, you say, oh, that's your sister or your brother. How how they tell? You know how they tell? Things. Yeah. So like appearances. Yeah, so certain trait, right? The feature has certain trait. Share from your parents, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The same thing. Then you give the all the variety color a uh, trait. How you do that? For example, the main color is yellow. Then you're going to use the green and the red and the blue. How how can the main look like uh, okay? Then you you share the yellow to all these three color. That's a little bit. You don't want to give a lot, okay? So the blue has a little bit of green. So the red has a little bit of orange. You see, you just add a little bit tiny those thing, just like uh, your sibling. You kind of all together, and the, your sibling is different than you. <clears throat> okay, your your sibling look like alike like you, but they personality different. A different temper, okay. Some may be smarter than you. <laughs> Some may be not here, okay. So so yeah. So how you use them? So use a certain way. So you can share the one main color, like a parent color, okay. Share with all the color you choose. So that can solve the problem, okay. So this is called color theory. Then. Besides that, what you can do, you can reduce all their intensity. Okay, so I think uh, Angel took my uh, color theory before, right? Angel, do you take my uh, color theory before? Yes, or no. What? You take my color theory class before? Um, I don't think so. You don't think so? I think so. I remember you. <laughs> okay, it's fine. No. Okay, fine. But we did, uh, mm -hmm. we did go through like uh, last year, I think. We did go through like a couple months about color theory. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we, we only go through this little portion of the color theory. We do something, experiment, that's all. But color theory has covered so much. The, uh, the last step, like I said, the last step for, for color theory is talk about how to uh, use a variety color. You say use the color wheel or the theory of that. How you arrange those colors, okay? That's the, the top one, right? How can you control a big company, like a thousand employee as a manager? How you do that? So same thing, we're going to manage variety colors, okay? Then how we do that, how we place them. So like I say, the first one is share the main color. Every color you choose, they will be all together, harmony. It's in the same note, okay? The other one is share something from outside. Like for example, share white. Every single color you choose, share, take a certain percentage of the white or black or gray. You do the same thing, okay? I just tell you this thing. That's to take people years to know that. And the third way, the third way I we mentioned about the intensity. What's the intensity of color? Cindy, what's the intensity of color? What? Um, intensity. Like how like vivid, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> so you see, color theory we talk, talk about uh, understand the color, uh, like we we do right. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes we uh, like to put some some food has a lot of salt. Sometimes we put a little bit. Okay, we don't like to be salty. Sometimes we can combine salt and the sugar. You know that, right? We do. Yeah. Uh, so when we uh, put something with something else inside, they lose the intensity. Intensity or call also called saturation. How saturated means how how pure, 
how much or strong. If we, like uh, for example, if we have a blue, then we put a drop of water on the blue, uh, the pigment, what happened to the color? Lighter, right? The loss of intensity, loss of saturation. Make sense? So, like I say, the third way to change the saturation of the color we use, then we'll make that same thing. Uh, we just have like a Easter yesterday, right? Do you find out Easter color is like a light yellow, light pink, light blue, light green? Do you see that? Yeah. They only like a little baby. The color so 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 comfy, so uh, so warm, so cute, so lovely. How they do that? They add white. They change the intensity. They they add some white with the color they choose. So like a pink, like a yellow. Like a light blue, okay. So like a baby, like a little little baby color, okay. So you can do that with changing the three things to make color all work together. Of course, there's so many different ways to, to do that, okay. But this is three major one. Then let you know. Okay, I pretty much finished the hair. Then I'm going to add a flower. The flower I will use the two color. Okay, the flower are using a uh, pink and the process red. Process red is like this, almost a little bit like a purplish red, like a pink. Okay, almost like a pink, but more like a little bit purple. Not the, the red, okay, it's called process red. This is a pink. So pink as a base, okay, the base here, use a pink. Then we use the uh, passage thread to create a dark line. Okay, so it's doing this. So pink. Okay, if you feel too uh too much grain, the grain, uh, you can use uh. Cancel to over, and feel free to do that. Okay, then if you do that, you'll find out you need to save some of the spot lighter. Because when you do that, it will be intense, really cover the whole thing. So you want to have a certain part a little bit lighter. So when you're blending it with the Genso, then it shows the highlight. This is a pure solid uh, uh, pink. Okay, so I finished that pinkish stuff. Okay, then I use a uh, cancel, 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 I cancel both. So I leave the center is because that's a, the yellow. I think that's probably canary yellow and the uh, orange to create a center, All right? Uh, if you want, you can also do the same cancel to go over the hair, make it smoother, yes.
Okay, use the cancel. Make it being so lucky. Wait, what color are you using for the thing? Is it peach? Which one? Oh, the, Which the, the, the flower. The yeah. flower is pink. pink. Pink? And I use the pink first, then I just go over with a cancel. Right? Okay. Make it smoother. But I don't want to make it solid. So I purposely need for a little bit light area, some part, that. Not solid. Okay. Now, after that, once you're done, you're going to use a process red. Okay, use process red, like a pink, pinkish, uh, uh, the purple is pink. Okay, not red at all. It's like uh, this color. It's not red. Uh, on my screen, it looks like a red. Jeez, what happening? Can you see the color? It's not red, it's, it's purple ish. Uh, Oh, it's good. What's the name? Process red. Can you, can you see process red? Oh, yeah, I, I see. I see. I got it. Process red. Yeah. So that one, you go over, you can outline it, and just create some of the thing like this. And go here. Same thing. Here. Okay. You can even use that to shade a little bit. This is just a line. You can shade. Middle a little bit darker. You can use that. The process red to, to go inside to close to center. Shade a little bit with the process red. Okay. One like that. And this one go here. Okay. So, the middle, like I said, use canary yellow. Is that yellow? Let's see, canary yellow. That's a solid green. Okay, canary yellow. So you guys can see uh, the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to read. Let me see. Let's down a little bit. Canary yellow. Okay. That's the center of the flower. Okay. The same thing. If you want, you can do the, the close. It's that too. Okay, since we're using the canary yellow, so I'll just use them.
you can use the Genso. Uh, uh, sometimes if it's okay, you don't need to, okay? Sometimes you make it smoother, you can use the Genso to do that. But if you feel like, a, ah, work, eh, don't worry, you don't have to uh, do everything to Genso all the time, right? Mm. So the center of the flower, you can use uh, uh, dark brown. If you have dark brown, you can just create a little bit like a, a the, try like this a little bit. Like that. Okay, I'm thinking here. Like that. Okay, if you feel like a bit too dark, then you can add some orange. Okay. Few spot like orange inside. Let's see the orange. Few spot like that. Then the flower. Oh. Okay. Then same thing. We're going to use the uh, the light serena blue over the eyebrow. Okay. We'll try to give you some of the pencil line. Too strong. A little bit. Okay. Just light serena blue. True blue. Okay, then same thing, the outline, you can use the indigo blue to outline the eyebrow. But be careful when you do that, don't be too slow, it has to be smooth like this. Okay, really important. If you do ruin that whole thing, uh, the whole thing just look uh, not as decent as possible. As decent, okay, just be careful. Like, not be too slow. Put my hair, eyebrow, uh, everything. Get my done. Okay. Get the dark a little bit on the end of the eyebrow. It's the indigo blue. Okay. So now, so far, so I guess. Uh, let me see. I'll pull it down a little bit. See better. Okay. Now we're going to use the uh, two color pretty much to do the skin. Okay. Uh, I don't know you got this color, but we can try. We probably will use pink later for the cheek and the, that. Okay. So I use the main, 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 many the, the base. I use this one. Uh, this one called, uh, let me see if you can see it, orange deco. Or deco orange, you know what? This is a base, that's for the base of the, the skin, okay? Or base of skin will be orange deco or deco orange. Okay, so really light area, really light goes through everything, the skin you can see, it goes through that, okay? Some highlight part are uh, really light. Okay, some part you need to be uh, pressed harder. Okay, some part like, like some reflection, the light, like a, a like a corner of the eye here, right, right here. 
you know, make sure you have a little bit, save the space for the highlight. Okay. This purpose is save that space, be lighter. Essentially, hold the side of the color pencil and rubbing. And the corner here, we, we did draw the line. So erase this line. Get it highlight on the nose ridge. You press harder. Same thing here with the pencil line. Pencil line is too dark. Here. Okay, so far I use the deco orange, uh, deco orange or orange deco, depends. People call different names. Then underneath the uh, hair, based on shadow, you can use that to create a little bit darker skin. Uh, Okay, so really light uh, goes to the faces with uh, they call orange. Okay, try not to leave with white. I know some spots really bright. Uh, try to get, at least get a trace of the uh, they call orange over the top. Okay, if you leave just white, it's like too white. There's a some spot they do, like uh, the, uh, the tip of the nose. And the little part, uh, the range of the uh, the nose here, and yes, they have some really bright light in here. But the most part, really bright, you still want to give a little bit uh, the deck orange over the top. I quite give the uh, shading for the color over top. I will follow the contour when you shade. So you go like this. It's just like this all the time. Okay. When you do this way, follow the contour, different direction, you make uh, the surface extension showing it. It's showing the whole thing is kind of straight, stretching to this way and that way. Okay. So. So when you shade, watch out how you shade. Okay, don't everything just go straight or sideways. Okay, follow the contour to shade.
Okay, now do the next. Uh, we probably will finish the, let me see how far time. We'll finish the next and uh, some detail we'll have to save for next week. Okay. okay same thing. On the highlight part, it still show a little bit that they call orange. Okay, it's they call orange. Okay, let me see how you got to. Cindy, how you do? Cindy, can I take a look at your, what to do? Cindy, are you there? Cindy, are you still there? Let me check out answers. Answer, you didn't do the face yet. Yeah. You don't have time to do this. Uh, so far, okay. So far, it's good. Yeah. Uh, remember, uh, do you have a day called, do you have a day called orange? No. At all? Um, huh? You don't take call orange? This color? No. Uh, let me see. No. What else? <laughs> Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Do you have um rose? Let me see. Rose what? Uh, a brush pink. Brush pink. You have brush pink. Uh, I think I have that. I okay, you I can have. use brush pink. Uh, yeah, but the the original picture is more toward the color. Will be kind of orange color, but pink is too much pink, too much red. But I think you can combine these two either way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so before we light over the certain part, I can dark that. The dark part I use, uh, like I said, you can use uh, this color called peach. Peach color could go over the shadow part. Okay, you're not dark enough. Then you can add, especially the cheek here. You can use uh, the pink. You have the pink. You go over here. Go over that. Do you do you guys do make art yet? Do you guys make do the make art yourself? Yes, no. You, you haven't started to do make art yet. <laughs> Even so, I never do the make art, but I know how how girls do the make art. Okay. They're going to show the cheek part has the more pinkish looking. Okay, to the right side, to the right side here, uh, keep the bar really close to the edges here. Don't press solid. Have a little bit the lighter area reflect the light on the right side. Okay. Don't go all the way to the faces. Leave little trace the uh, uh, edges here. Okay. Da. Da.
Cindy, are you still there? Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. While talking to you, I say, hey, do you have a deck of yellow? Yeah, I need oh. deck of orange. Oh, I was um cleaning up a spill. You do? What? what happened? <laughs> Like half of our milk on the floor, so we had to go help her. Oh, wow, you have to so much choice, look like. Because, like, the milk was about to flow under our um, shelf, and we didn't want that, so. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. basically. Okay, so. So uh, the face I use uh, deco orange. I don't. You guys have this. This color for skin is pretty good. Okay. So let me put my stuff back to. Okay. Kind of face, kind of ugly. There's the uh, the photo reference is much smoother. So you can you can you can blend in it. Okay. Use a pencil to do that. But I just put the skin on, and uh, today pretty much time's up. And uh, if you can, on the weekend, try to get a uh, deco orange, if you can. That helps us the color much brighter, OK, uh, if you can. And uh, I'm going to use a uh, pink. And uh, later, I'm going to use a little bit different color for the uh, shadow for the that. This is the kind of color, let me see. I'll be using this one. This one called uh, pale vermilion. Do the this by here. Okay. So kind of orange color, and the between uh, poppy red and the orange. This color here. Okay. I'll add some color that. So if you don't have those color, especially this one, take orange if you can. Get that one from store. You can just get one. You don't have to get every single whole set. Get one for that. That help. It'll make your skin better. Okay. I I don't have time to do the uh the ganso for the skin yet. But next week we're going to finish that whole thing, and uh, probably we can start a new one. Okay. This week we should probably go back to here. That do the eye, uh, smooth out the face the skin and the dark shadow for the second part, what kind of detail, then done. Then I think that probably take uh, one third of time. So two thirds of time we start a new one, okay? We probably do uh, one more head drawing, okay? Any question? Any question, you two? Mm -hmm. If not, we'll see you guys next Monday. Okay? All right. Bye. 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 Bye.